In this video, you will learn how to use the bracket placement workflow so you can place brackets for digital indirect bonding. To start bracket placement, you'll need a scan of both arches and a bite scan of a patient. It is worth knowing that it can be beneficial to put a virtual base on the scan before continuing with indirect bonding, but it isn't required. If you are on Dental Desktop using Indirect Bonding Studio, you should select In-House, and then click Orthodontics, and select Indirect Bonding. If your case is prepared and you are in the main Ortho Analyzer window, click the bracket placement icon to start the indirect bonding workflow. In the first step, select whether you would like to place brackets on one or both jaws. In addition, you can also select which one to start with. It is worth knowing that Ortho's system enables you to perform an autocomplete workflow too. Please watch our video for more details. When you have finished in this step, click Next. Here you are able to set up occlusion plane and standard planes. First, follow the instructions on the left, clicking on the specific teeth to place landmarks on them. This will create an occlusion plane. In the standard plane step, click on the model to pick a starting point for the local origo and coordinate system axis. Now use the control points and blue arrows to set the axis. Just hold down the left mouse button and move the mouse to move them. Please remember, in order to move and rotate axes in 3D space, we recommend using the blue arrows and or red control points to change the specific axis without changing the other ones. Before putting the brackets on, the model has to be segmented. For details on how to do that, please watch our video. In the last segmentation step, it is important that you set FA points on each tooth. This is where, further down the process, brackets will be placed. Just select a tooth, hold your mouse over the red FA point, and move it along the selected axis. The three windows with additional views can help you too. You can move the control point freely as well, after selecting the specific option in the menu. When you're done, you must lock all FA positions in order to continue. If you've chosen to put brackets on both jaws, now you must repeat the same segmentation workflow for the antagonist. In this step, you will select the arch shape for the specific jaw. Click to select the right shape from the drop-down list. Then select the specific arch. The blue arch in the left view represents this specific arch. The green one is the antagonist, shown just for visualization. Hold and move the blue control point to move the blue arch and see the outcome in the right view. When you hover your mouse below the model, you'll also see the red control point, enabling you to rotate the arch. In this step, you are able to identify if, in the results of the treatment on the right-hand side of the screen, that the teeth and FA points align in a way that you need them to. If you want to move both arches simultaneously, make sure to have the Sync Antagonist option enabled. You are also able to have the same arch shape selected for antagonist. The Dual View tool enables you to see Dual View, Left Side Only, Both Sides on One Window, or Right Side Only. In this way, you are able to see whatever view you deem necessary at the moment. Click Next and edit an arch for antagonist, if needed. In the next step, you'll choose Bracket Libraries for the specific jaw. Click the Bracket Library for All Teeth drop-down to simply select a library from the list. Or you can click the arrow to the right to select a manufacturer, series, a prescription, wire size, a material, hooks included, and then select the right library from a short list. If you want to put a library for the specific teeth, for example tubes for molars, hold down the control button and select the teeth that you want to put the brackets on. Then select a library from the bracket library for selected teeth drop down, 
or you can search by parameters, just like with the first library. It is recommended that you establish preferred bracket libraries, containing both brackets and tubes. Click the Save Mixed Bracket Library button to do that. Any libraries you compose on your own will appear at the top of the drop-down selection. Finally, you can also choose to use a placement prescription. Some are included in the software by default, but you can also create your own in the Ortho Control Panel. If you select a prescription, remember to click the Apply to All button. It will be applied to the initial placement. The bracket adjustment step is the most crucial one in the workflow. This is where you perform the final adjustments of the bracket placement before validation. By default, everything will be placed according to your FA points, which you have set at the end of segmentation. The more accurately you have set and oriented them, the better the default placement will be. Select a tooth. You can adjust the bracket placement directly on the malocclusion view, or you can move the tooth on the treatment outcome visualization, and the bracket placement will adjust correspondingly. Please remember, if a tooth or a bracket appears to be locked in place, it may be due to collision. It may happen that in order to move a molar bracket, first you will have to disable collision detection for the antagonist or gingiva. Notice that you have the same four different view modes as in the arch shape step. Here you can use the distribute teeth evenly function if needed. It will distribute them evenly across the arch. To finish this step, you must lock the bracket positions by clicking the Validate All Brackets button. Once you do this, you'll be warned of existing collisions between brackets and antagonists, as well as between brackets and gingiva. Should such collisions occur, you must take action before the software allows you to proceed, so there's no risk of overlooking them. When all bracket positions are validated, click Next to continue. Repeat the bracket placement and adjustments for the antagonist if needed. Once you are in the validation step, click the validate button. This will make the bracket placement available for appliance designer software, where you can create the bonding tray. Please see our video for more details on this topic. In this video, you have learned how to place brackets for digital indirect bonding. We hope this was helpful, and thank you for watching.